Today we're going to talk about normally open, normally closed, relays, and contacts. And whether we're talking about this push button, this relay, or this contactor, the principles are all the same. We're going to look into all of them to help us understand how these contacts work. And just like when you're a kid, sometimes the best way to learn is by taking things apart. But to start with, the push buttons have clear plastic housings, so we can look at them without taking them apart. The top contact with the white plastic is a normally open contact, and the bottom contact with the black plastic is a normally closed contact. As we look at the other side, we can see there are two stationary conductors on each contact that lead to a set of screws that we would use to wire to other devices to complete our circuit. Then there is a movable conductor on each contact that is used to switch the circuit. As you can see, our normally open movable contact is not touching the stationary contact when the push button is not pressed, but our normally closed contact is. As we press the push button, the normally open movable contact touches the stationary contacts and our normally closed movable contact moves away from the stationary contact, breaking the circuit. Now let's break down the words normally open and normally closed. Normally is the state that the contact is in when something else is not affecting it. If it is a relay, then it is not energized. If it is a switch, then it is off. If it is a high limit such as a temperature, then the current temperature is below this limit. Normally open. This is a contact that does not flow current in its normal state. Energizing it or switching it on will close the contact, causing it to allow current flow. For normally closed, it is a contact that flows current in its normal state. Energizing it and switching it on will open the contact, causing it not to allow current flow. Don't overthink these two concepts. That's all there is to it. Also, a very important note for those continuing on to our PLC lessons, these symbols don't mean normally open and normally closed in ladder logic. Right now we're learning about wiring. We'll address these PLC symbols in later lessons. Now let's look at our relays and contactors to make sure we understand the normally open and normally closed contacts and understand how they work with relays. Let's take the cover off of our cube relay. As you can see, the movable contact pivots on this end and is sandwiched between the normally open and normally closed contact. There is a spring on the back that pulls it towards the normally closed contact. Then there is a coil wire wrapped around a piece of iron that when voltage is applied creates a magnetic field to pull the movable contact towards the normally open contact. Now let's make a crude electric magnet to help us understand how this works using a screwdriver, some wire, a 9 volt battery, and some staples. As you can see, the screwdriver can't pick up the staples. Take some wire and wrap it around your screwdriver. You could use a nail, a drill bit, or any metallic object. The tie wraps are not necessary, but help hold the wire tight. Now connect it to a battery. As you can see, the screwdriver is now magnetized and can pick up the staples. The same principle allows the movable contact to switch to the normally open contact when you apply power to the coal. Now let's take apart our contactor. The principle is the same, so this should be reviewed at this point. Once we take the cover off the contactor, we can see the stationary contacts connected to the screw and the movable contacts above it. Can you tell whether these are normally open or normally closed contacts? If you said normally open, then you're correct. Now let's remove the contacts completely. First we see a spring. This keeps the contacts disengaged when the contactor coil is not energized. Then we see a piece of steel that is connected to the movable contact that will pull it towards the coil when energized. Looking at the base, we can pull out the coil and you can see two fine wires going into this plastic film. If we remove the plastic film, you can see hundreds or possibly thousands of wires wrapped to make this coil. Check out the rest of our normally open, normally closed contactor and relay lessons at the following link where we continue our discussion of single pole, single throw, double pole, double throw, two way, three way, and many other terms used in these devices. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber. We run the automation store. Be sure to visit our support section for more great articles and videos. And view our line of PLC cables and trainers, simulators, repair services, surplus inventory, charity auctions, and more.